Are you going to tell me that 2,000 children just up and missing? Will they find them? Did they find them? I'll leave it. Maybe they will. But my guess is they'll, they'll probably never be found again. I will rank it somewhere close to Jeffrey Epstein's island. What happened to that black book? The authorities come in and say, nothing to see here, folks. Don't worry about it. I want you to go and sign up right now to davidhevener.tv. It's exclusive just to the members. You'll see, we have 10 channels, okay? We have the Prophecy Channel, Saving Baby Channel, the original uh, TV series channel, uh, the Health and Survival Channel. We have a new channel called the Alien Demon <clears throat> Disclosure Abduction Channel, and it's got a lot of L.A. Marzulli's videos that I've done with him, but a lot of other videos by other people. You can see that channel right there. Uh, we've got a new show up called Underground Alien, uh, and it's the only place you're going to see these. You will not see them anywhere else. Please go and support the ministry by signing up. You can get two months free if you do it now, TV. Okay, now, um, let's get to satanic panic. What is satanic panic? Basically, it, it is, it's a term that came up with in the 80s where they deemed that most of the stuff we're talking about was not real. So therefore, they called it the satanic panic, where everyone was panicking about something that really didn't exist. And the way that Satan does this is he will do all these horrific things, <clears throat> but there will be one big horrific thing that he does that is has everyone's eyeballs is on it. Uh, enter the McMartin trial in California, and then he will discredit it, meaning that in the McMartin trial, and I'm going to Johnny Thunder to, through this, uh, Greg, uh, th these day, uh, these uh, child care uh, workers. Uh, were, were, were accused of sexual immol uh, molestation and all kinds of terrible things. I mean, bones buried in the backyard, just all, you know, rituals with animals, all kinds of crazy things. Well, you know, $11 million later and, you know, years later, no one was ever uh, as many time in prison. Uh, so then the FBI comes in and deems it not real. None of this stuff really exists. It's a satanic panic. Uh, Rosemary's baby, uh, Sybil, uh, they deemed that not real. They came back and said, hey, I just made all this stuff up. This is a satanic panic, when in actuality, it's just a cover up from the dark side saying it's not real, so people don't take it serious. What say you? With every one of the, they, they did what was called straw men cases like McMartin, where they could, they, it was a failed case, so they could point to that and say, see, it's all satanic panic, when the, the reality was, they didn't allow most of the evidence that could have brought in, been brought in, was never allowed. We were involved with at least five other cases that were identical to McMartin from El Paso to Austin to other parts. Same, and these therapists had never talked to each other. So this was not therapists putting this into their heads, having the uh, top behavioral science guy saying this stuff isn't real, convinced a lot of law enforcement people it must not be anything to worry about in spite of the number of crimes that we actually were working on at the time. And then the Christian world came in, or elements of it, that wrote articles against friends of mine like Mike Warnke and Lauren Stratford and completely shredded their lives. They never even had a chance to defend themselves. And then it was case closed. Yeah, yeah. This is the satanic panic. So most of this stuff that you see, like, for instance, my cousin, Shonda Sher, Shonda Sher, um, I wrote about it being a, uh, a satanic ritual, her killing. It was not It was not a murder. And, you know, people would raise their eyebrows at me, right? At me. I mean, I'm going, what is wrong with you? Um, uh, okay, so let's see. Betty raised her hand. Betty, are you still out there? If not, we'll move on. Yes, uh, I am. <laughs> oh, hey, Betty. Okay, you're Hi, right. how are you? Yeah. Good, how are you? Hi, Betty. Yeah. Hi, how are you, sir? Good. I appreciate what you do. Um, about 15, 20 years ago in Bel Air, Ohio, we had a young man and he actually killed his mom and dad with a bow and arrow. And then he cut his dad's hat up and put it in a fishbowl. And then they caught him, but he had six or seven names of young students he wanted to kill. So I felt that was a satanic ritual or whatever he was doing. And I don't know much about Dungeon and Dragons. I don't know if it's a video or a movie or whatever it is, but I never let my son 
watch it because I always heard people said it was bad. So I have no clue what that is. But my question is in Maui, you know, those 2000 children are missing. You know, it is sad. And I hear people saying that maybe it's a satanic ritual that they grab those for child trafficking or something because they can't even find even any DNA. I just wanted your opinion on that. I, I mean, I real we really don't know what happened, but I was just wondering about your opinion. I appreciate your opinion. Yeah, thank you, Betty. Uh, Greg, do you have anything to say on that? Um, yes. Uh, one thing is that we'll have to see how this plays out. But I think the fact that we've seen this over and over again, where the authorities come in and say, nothing to see here, folks, don't worry about it. And then we forget about it a month later, the fact that we're all these children missing. Will they find them? Did they find them? I'll leave it. Maybe they will. But my guess is though they'll probably never be found again, as, as was so clearly be, uh, portrayed in the uh, movie Sound of Freedom. We're talking about $250 billion a year industry in child trafficking and in human trafficking. They can pretty much do whatever they want and make it go away. And they have a lot of compliant people in the media that are gonna help them with that. So it may not be satanic per se, but I think it's tied into the, it could be tied into the trafficking of children. They went somewhere. And here's another important point. To people on the dark side, a ritual is a ritual is a ritual. They don't necessarily have to do the candles and the ropes and all that. But if they do something nefarious and do it in the name of Satan, they consider that the same thing as a ritual. So if all these kids end up having died in a fire, then I'm going to question whether that was some ritualistic something behind it. I don't know. Mm, yeah. Well, this was a school system. Um, I find it very odd. Now, I'm not going to say anything, Betty, that it definitely is, but I will rank it somewhere close to Jeff, to Jeffrey Epstein's island, uh, somewhere to what happened to that black book, uh, to things that are unexplainable. Um, are you going to tell me that 2,000 children just up and missing and they don't find any, there's no indication, there's no dentures, there's no nothing? Um, I don't know, Greg, if it was the fire was started so that that could be accomplished or that they took advantage of it because it was happening. You, you know what I'm saying? Cause it's such a big business. Uh, first of all, human trafficking is a big business, but the, the ritual of business, they're always looking for opportunities to go in and find especially young people. So that's what I have to say about that. I uh, just want to say one thing. It was odd that they canceled school that day and the parents went off to work. That was just like just off the wall. Right. Exactly. That, that's what I'm saying. It, you know, it's in, and I haven't I, maybe I'm going to dive into it next week. If they haven't found the kids, Betty, I think I'm going to do a piece on it. But just from a distance and you brought it up. Thank you for that. I, I'm looking. It doesn't smell right. It doesn't look right. Doesn't feel right. There's something weird going on. The ground didn't open up and these kids just fell into, you know, Thank you for bringing that up. And you know what? We need to pray for those children. That's what we need to do tonight on this broadcast. We need to pray for them. And that's what we're going to do. Um, right now, let's just take a moment, a second and pray. Thank you, Lord, for bringing this up. We pray for these children. First of all, we pray for all the victims of Maui, but especially these children that are missing. Right now, I'm asking for a hedge of protection. Bring them back no matter where they are. Satan can have no power over them. Everything is disconnected they're going to come back to safety. We, we thank you, Father, for letting that happen. And we command a healing to each and every one of those kids if there's anything wrong with them. In Jesus' name. Hey, everybody. I am honored and blessed not to have just one new book out, but two new books. That's right, two new books. The first one is End Times Investigation. I deal with Hollywood Mind Control. I deal with demon portals, the alien demon connection, uh, astral projection, program multiples, satanic ritual abuse, and much, much more. The things that I talk about in Last Evangelist and on my shows, the all my interviews I do, it's right here in this book, especially my life story. Also, True Power, how to uh, access your true power uh, in these last days, okay? Um, it's a war manual for God's children. We need to learn the enemy's tactics and how 
to battle the enemy in these last days. Pick up a copy of this book. Just text the word CHOSEN to 91999, or you can go to davidhevener.tv forward slash order, or you can simply call 844-806-0006. We have the new End Times DVD, End Times Investigation. I have a lot of my friends on here, uh, Lisa Haven, Michael Lake, uh, I have Josh Peck, L.A. Marzulli. Eight hours of, of me investigating things like Satanism, demonic powers, Illuminati, New World Order, Antichrist, One World Religion, End Times Miracles, Bible Prophecy, and the alien demon connection with L.A. Marzulli. So I want you to uh, text the word CHOSEN to 91999, the word CHOSEN to 91999, and get the End Times Investigation DVD.